Okay, so before we get into those key betting concepts, let's just talk generally about the concept of probability, which is a very fundamental concept, just, just as fundamental as the odds and what we'll see uh, later on in this lecture, what we're gonna see is how the odds and the probability play off of each other in a very important way. Okay, so first, what is probability? So you've probably heard the term probability before, you may have taken classes in probability, but if you've done anything or you've thought about betting or read about betting at all, you've come across the concept of probability. For our purposes, the probability of an outcome is how often the outcome happens or how often we expect it to occur if we could repeat a large number of times under, sa under the same or similar conditions. So the classic examples of this are things like coin tosses. We think of tossing a coin over and over and over again. How often is it going to come up heads? How often is it going to come up tails? Those are the probabilities of heads and tails. And we would typically think of them as 50-50 in the case of a fair coin. In craps, very similar. Craps is a casino game. We roll two dice. We count the, we count the number that comes up, and that's the outcome of the roll. So we can roll that di those dice repeatedly a large number of times. How often in a large number of rolls is a seven going to come up? Well, under the standard model for craps, assuming all, all outcomes on each di die is equally likely, the probability we roll a seven is one-sixth, meaning that a seven will be rolled approximately one-sixth of the time, 16.7% in craps. In roulette, American roulette in particular, where there's a zero and a double zero, there's 38 numbers on the wheel. What's the chance that the, wheel, that the ball lands on 13? Well, there's 38 numbers, each one being equally likely. We expect that in a long number, in a, in a large number of spins, about 1 38th or about 2.6% of the time, we're going to see the number 13. Okay, so those, those are probabilities as they occur in repeatable games of chance in the casino and other things that are kind of traditional in classic probability. Coin tosses, dice rolls, spins of wheels. In sports betting, we are interested in something slightly different as we're gonna talk about here because we're not talking about things that can actually be repeated over and over again. We're talking about things that only happen once. For example, suppose we're talking about the Boston Red Sox versus the New York Yankees in sports betting. We're interested in, well, how, what's the probability that the Red Sox beat the Yankees? Well, what does it mean that that probability is 53.4%? The game's only going to happen one time. It's either going to happen, the, the Red Sox will either win or they won't, or they'll lose. There's no replaying of the game. Boston might play the Yankees again tomorrow night, but they're going to have a different starting pitcher. The weather's going to be different, different starting lineup. Somebody might be injured. The umpires are different. The circumstances are very different. So that's not really the same, or at least it doesn't feel the same as rolling the dice repeatedly, the same dice under the same conditions repeatedly. Okay. But the way that we interpret this 53.4% probability in this example can be related to the craps and the roulette and the coin toss example in a more in, in kind of an intuitive way by saying, well, what, what that means is that under the circumstances of tonight's game, which means the starting pitchers, the weather, the, who's the home team, who's the away team, who's in the starting lineup, who are the umpires, what are the different teams' abilities, etc. Boston, we expect Boston to win 53.4% of the time under those circumstances. Tomorrow night's circumstances might be different and it won't be 53.4% anymore. Um, but that's what it means is that we're, we're comparing the circumstances, the information that we have, given the information that we have, given the knowledge we have about how things tend to behave under those circumstances, we expect Boston to win 53.4% of the time. So, as I said, the circumstances of craps and roulettes are nearly identical all the time. We can... We can really imagine the wheel and roulette pretty much being exactly the same. It's not in a technical sense, in a very, very exact sense, it's not going to be exactly the same, of course. But it's, it's not different in any way that we can tell. Same thing with the, with the dice and craps. But in sports betting, the circumstances are always changing in very obvious ways. The starting pitchers are, all, are different every game, at least 
until they repeat five or six or however many games later, depending on the rotation. Starting lineup might be different. The starting lineup might be different because of who the starting pitcher is and so on and so forth. So how do we kind of understand this idea of probability in sports betting? Okay. And this is something that as you get more advanced, this is something that you'll maybe become more, more comfortable with and you'll get deeper and deeper into this, especially if you go into the more analytical and modeling route, which are things that we talk about in our other courses uh, at analytics.bet. For, the, for our purposes in this course, it's just important to appreciate that there is some subtlety here, that it isn't, it is not an easy thing to grasp, and it's, it's, a very, it's, it's a very nuanced concept. It's very fundamental to sports betting. We don't have to be necessarily experts in it to be profitable in sports betting, which is great, and we're going to see very, you know, how we can actually be profitable without going into the very technical aspects of probability and statistics within this course. Um, but it's important to understand that there's a lot to it. And actually the fact that there's a lot to it is what makes sports betting a good opportunity for profit, right? It's very difficult to profit in craps because the model for craps is very clear, right? It's very well understood that the, the dice are, are fair, all outcomes equally likely, how are we going to get an edge over the casino when the casino knows exactly what's happening and has control over what's happening? Sporting events are totally different. The sports book does not have control over the events that they're pricing. And so that's what gives us the opportunity. On top of it, every sporting event is unique and has different little tweaks or, or, or differences, right? S starting pitchers, weather, head coaches, different strategies, things that we've already talked about. For example, if we're talking about supposing that on September 25th, 20, 2021, Boston and Boston Red Sox, New York Yankees played each other, that's a different game than on September 26th, not just because the dates are different, but because the circumstances under which the game was played are different. So even though each game, is, but even though each game is unique, the combination of circumstances under which sporting events occur are not necessarily unique. Okay, and this is where the idea of probability starts to come in, is that we don't think about, well, if I bet on Boston on September 25th, 2021, how often do I expect to win? It's the circumstances of that game, right? What are those circumstances? There's a tendency with, of, with, for players and teams with similar statistics to perform similarly over time, right? If you take two players, they're different players, but maybe they have the exact same batting average over, you know, we're, we're 120 games into the season, the players both have the same batting average, then if they come up to bat, what does that mean? Well, we're going to expect that they're both going to get, the, get, a hit, get hits at about the same frequency. That's what batting average is. And it's not that they're the same players, it's just that they have the same tendencies. They seem to have similar statistics, and so they must have the sim similar ability levels, and they're performing at similar levels. And so a player with one batting, with, with the, the different players with the same batting average might have a similar impact on the chance of their team winning. Similarly for players who have similar home run totals, RBI totals, those statistics give us a summary of those different players. Even though they're different players in different situations, we think we can use information that we know from both of them to try to extrapolate, well, what is the impact of this player on this particular outcome that we're interested in? So that's how probability comes up in sports betting. That's how we have to think of it. We have to think of it not so much in terms of the outcomes that were these specific outcomes, the exact game that we're talking about tonight, but more in terms of the information we have at our disposal, right? Of all the times that I have this information at my disposal, how often do I think that this particular event is going to happen or that particular event? How often do I think the home team is going to win? in general versus the away team and things like that. So that's how probability comes up. That's what we mean when we talk about probability in this course. Okay. Later on in this course, we will talk a little bit about how we can start to try to estimate our own probabilities from data. And we'll get a little bit better of a sense of what we mean by probability in the sports betting context 
related to this conversation here. But for now, the most important thing for us to understand is that probability is a frequency. It's how often some event occurs. And from a better standpoint, when we talk about making bets, placing bets, and, over, and beating the odds, the probability is how often we win our bet. And in order to be profitable bettors, we have to be winning our bets often enough to overcome the bookmaker's VIG. We'll talk about what VIG is in a second. We have to be winning our bets often enough to make it worth placing the bet at the odds that the book is offering us.